Dylan Greer and Owen Jackson are commentating. Pretty fresh start. Straight up the field. And our producer, the one, the only, Bob King. Already off the start, I feel like the the opposing team is hustling a little harder than ours. It seems to be. You got a little pep in their step. Let's see, their goalie's over there looking looking mighty tall. It'd be pretty easy for him to guard their goal. I think it's gonna be pretty hard for Fairview to score. Kyle Groudon with the goal kick. Beautifully placed. <laughs> and that is out of the park, boys. We are now going to be waiting. Keaton Mullins with the throw in. Very poorly placed pass by both teams right there. <laughs> Keaton Mullins again with the throw in, tossing it forward, goes straight to Columbia Central. He tries and crosses it, crosses it to the middle. Right, Fairview's got the ball back, and Columbia Central steals it right back. Max Cole coming in real quick with the defense, getting that ball out of there. And it looks like Columbia Central is going to kick it out of bounds, and we're going to get another goal kick. I think it's too early in the game to, to say that, but I think they may be a little bit more skilled than ours. I don't know. Fair of you clearing the ball, getting it out of there, making sure Columbia uh, Central has no shots whatsoever. Very cold day out here. I don't understand how they're out there in shorts right now. I feel like I'd be way too cold. Columbia Central's number 13 fell flat on his face. Number 15 on Columbia Central, staying safe and playing smart. Passing the through ball to number six. And it's gonna be another goal kick for Fairview. So, so far, game's been fairly even. I feel like the ball's been on our half of the field for most of the time. Kyle Groudon with the field, uh, with the goal kick. Will Columbia Central's goalie get it? Yes, he will with the save. Re instant regret as we get a shot on goal. I feel like Fairview could have had a pretty easy goal if he just dribbled up a couple more steps and put some power into it. We would have had a swish. Would have hit the back of the net. All right, so it looks like we're just kicking the ball up real high now. Uh, doing real good. 
through ball to Blake Langford and it's stopped by 13. Hey, soccer's not only about using your feet, you gotta use your head too. Bingo. I feel like Columbia Central isn't playing as well of, like as a whole as I thought they were going to, but I feel like they have some pretty skilled individuals. Just taking it down to the corner, trying to cross it into the middle, get a shot off. He's gonna have to pass it back. Number 31 about to sub in. He's about to go hard for Columbia Central. Brett Ferguson looking to send the through ball all the way to his brother. Can he get it? Can he get it? And he gets a touch off, but he does not quite make it in the goal. Very large goalie, very, very, very lucky that that ball did not go in. Very nice through ball. So, it's number six, Brett Ferguson's little brother. We're gonna have to come up with a nickname for him because I don't know his first name. And Fairview's coach wouldn't give us the roster so let's just call him a little Ferg. All right. Alex Dowdy cutting him off, not letting anything near that goal. Reggie Prangler pulling in. They coming to they coming out to Fairview to watch this really heated game. This is probably the biggest student section Fairview's had for any sport. Right? All right, so Columbia Central's at, back at it again with the corner kick. It was pretty well placed corner. And Columbia Central with the high kick. So already, just eight minutes into the game, Columbia Central's up 1-0. I did not get to see who made that very, very nicely placed shot, and it just happened to go in right past Kyle Grouden, Fairview's keeper. So Fairview's gonna be at it in the middle of the field with the kickoff, Let's see if they can take it down the field some and put one in the back of the net. Alex Dowdy sent it forward, bounced off Columbia Central. He passed it up to Patrick Gilchrist. It went out on Columbia Central and it looks like Fairview's gonna get a corner now. Let's see if Fairview can maybe hopefully do the same thing Columbia Central just did, get a goal off their corner kick, be nice. B Lank. Beautifully placed corner. He goes for the volley. Very nice shot. See, like I was saying, I think it's gonna be pretty hard to get to get past that, that giant goalie. But I wonder if he's still in high school. <laughs> So Fairview's gonna get one more chance with the corner, maybe another if it goes off the team off of this kick. And we're gonna get a goal. And Fairview's gonna regain control of the ball. Try and place it back in the middle again. One more time. Top post. We're getting some pretty well placed shots, but none of them just seem to be. Yes, sir. 
none of them seem to be going in the back of the net. For Columbia Central. Keaton Mullins playing it smart, kicking it out of bounds, not letting anything get near the goal. All right, it looks like it's going to be a throw in for Columbia Central. Number 10 on their team is going to be throwing it in. Let's see if they can get themselves another goal. Playing it smart, nice short choppy passes. Taking it to the middle. They're working pretty well as a team. They got another shot on goal. It was actually pretty close. Kyle Groudon was there for the save. All right, we have Bailey Watson. Or wait, was that no, sir? That was Blake Langford. Blake Langford getting hit there with the ball a little bit. He's okay, it seems. Tossing it into Alex Stoudy, senior this year. Passing it up to Patrick Gilchrist. Patrick Gilchrist is getting trucked. This is when soccer gets a little bit physical. <laughs> Kyle Groudon shouting real loud, telling, telling the team what to do, trying to lead it as a goalkeeper, as every goalkeeper should. I feel like Columbia Central is for surely working better as a team now. Almost getting that through ball. Keaton Mullins did say that that could have potentially been a goal for Columbia Central. It seemed to be a well sent through ball. Number, number nine on Columbia Central. Looks like he's gonna be kicking it to number 10 maybe. Maybe not. Was almost there to save it. Alex Stoudy ju juking 31 out. But 31 gets him back. Max Coles. Alex was trying to send a through ball to Lil Ferg and it just didn't went through. Beautiful play by Patrick Gilchrist. Keaton Mullins hopping in there, kicking it in midair, little ninja. So our, our student section tonight's getting pretty hype. I don't know if the camera can see them, but they're there. You can see, you can totally tell. You can totally tell Fairview student section really wants Fairview to win. What is this? Is this Fairview High School boys first game? Scrimmage, scrimmage. I'm surprised this many people came. Keaton Mullins playing that defense. Keaton Mullins with, 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 not the penalty. Is it good now? So this is a pretty scary moment for Kyle Groudon. Columbia Central have already scored off of one corner. Seems like they know what they're doing off the corner kicks here. Number eight juking them out. It looked like it was going in from this angle, but it just went right outside the right post. All right, so we just figured out that Brett Ferguson's little brother's name is actually Jackson, so we can stop calling him Lil Ferg now. Just got subbed out, and number 20 is in his position.
pile Groudon about to go super hard in the paint and kick the ball to our team, and then we're going to dribble up, this, up the field and then score a couple goals. Right? That's what I like to hear. All right, it's pretty... Will Columbia Central be able to get a shot off? Harlow playing smart, passing it to the keeper. It's pretty close there. A little bit risky. It's going to be Fairview's ball. Number 20 throwing it into Patrick Gilchrist. It's going to be outran by Columbia Central's defense, and they're going to get a throw in. It's getting pretty chilly out here. It's been pretty chilly for a minute. Making plays and breaking ankles. <laughs> Bailey Watson killing Columbia Central on the defense right there. Number 17 is taking rips from afar, trying to trying to just shoot one in. I really want to see Kyle Groudon do a couple backflip saves. Number 10 using his head, like I was talking about earlier. You, you, you don't only use your feet in soccer, you gotta use your head some. Ex well, in soccer, you're not supposed to use your hands, but but if, if the ref don't see it, then it's fine. That's what I'm talking about. Life lessons with Dylan and Owen. Number nine whiffing the ball for the second time tonight. Very, very smart play. Fairview is for surely about to take it and take it all the way to the goal. So I wonder what the refs think whenever they listen to us commentating. They're probably just thinking, what are these kids talking about? You think so? No, sir, we're commentating. <laughs> Just for the Fairview High School broadcasting team. <laughs> All righty. It's going to be another throw in. Christian Batalas is about to go in for Columbia Central. Number six. The white with the yellow and pink mercurials. Yeah, I feel like Fairview's not moving as a whole, like as a team. Fake kicking it, passing it to Carlo, and he misses his touch. The ref luckily passes it back to Fairview and we get a through ball and we almost made it. For surely could have been a really nice play. I'm gonna blame that one on the ref. Not. So soccer takes a lot of energy compared to other sports like have you have you read the the statistics on how much how many miles a soccer player runs per game well me either but it's a lot more than almost any other sport i saw it on twitter one time and i always remembered that well i mean just think about it dylan baseball 
with baseball, they just stand there on the base until they got to run, unless they run all the bases. All right. In the first period. Which means that it is more than halfway over and Columbia Central still up by one. I'm hoping fair if you can get a goal, maybe a few goals. Here we go, mark up. Find somebody. Hey, get this guy. Including many soccer players that are on the field right now. I don't know how they're not freezing. Well, I suppose if we were out there running, we'd be a little bit warmer than we are just sitting here. Kyle Groudon getting really, really hype, about to kick the ball. And that would be a handball. You see right there, the ref saw it. If the ref didn't see it, it wouldn't have been called. It would have been perfectly fine. If he just hid the handball a little bit like more, it would have been fine. But he, he wasn't smart. Columbia Central decided to handball right in front of the ref. Um, Lil Ferg, number six, about to go in the game. Probably about to make a couple three-pointers. Beautiful kick. Carlo hustling to get that ball, but unfortunately Columbia Central is going to regain possession. They sent a nice through ball. Bailey, Bailey Watson really saved that one. It was a well-placed through ball. Probably could have scored a goal off that. Would have been a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper in number 17 from Columbia Central. The sun is now setting, so it's going to be getting a little bit more chilly. Andrew, watch, watch mine. Does that look better? It's a little bit dark. They're trying to get the lights turned on on the field. I'm sorry if you're having any issues seeing with the camera set up. Number 10 using, using, using his back to pass. I like it. See? You don't only use your feet, man. You use everything you can. If Pinocchio was playing, he'd be using his nose. Columbia Central's coach getting pretty hype, trying to boost their team's motivation. Well, unfortunately, we don't have those luxuries out here in the middle of nowhere, out in the soccer field. It's like, I see the iris button. But in the air, boys, get it purple. No, it's just, it's literally just a button and then push for audio. But I've been pushing. Jeffrey Shire's about to go into the game for Columbia Central. Lined up, looks like he's ready to go. <laughs> Patrick Gilchrist getting Is it just me or has he been on the on the ground a couple times this game so far? I'd agree. I'm really hoping that this shot right here is about where Erica Sherber made her free kick from during her season. It's a pretty far kick. Well placed. Nobody from Fairview is there to get it. Very unfortunate for Fairview. Way to use your face, number 32. Number six gaining some momentum on the ball, and our defense is there to stop him with the slide tackle.
Kobe's be co Kobe is being calling, called out for a sub. I thought he was playing basketball, but he's on the soccer field now. Very, very athletic person. Now, Big Ferg is about to go into the game. Lil Ferg's older brother. Well placed, uh, not so well placed pass. He's getting a little bit angry maybe, getting a little bit cold, you know, trying to keep his blood flowing, just, you know, sh shoving our players to get a little bit more blood flowing through the body. This ain't basketball, this is soccer, he can't do that. As you can see, the Fairview flyby happens at least once every soccer game, if you saw that pigeon in the shot. Looks like Fairview's gonna have another free kick. Taken by Bailey Watson. Zoomed across the field like a bullet and it's gonna be a goal kick for Columbia Central. Bingo. Yeah, he's taking a few tumbles. Shorts are dirty. I hope he has good laundry detergent. Number eight. Well, on the bright side, Dylan, we still have 12 minutes, 25 seconds to score a goal. Fairview does, not us. And... And hey, that's plenty of time to score multiple goals. So I think I wish I could I wish I could like let let the players that are subbing in talk into the microphone and say something. But I don't know if Mr. King would allow that. You have anything to say, Hunter Bagerstein? You have anyone you want to shout out? All right. All right. Well, I want you to go in this game. All right. Shout out to the to the auditorium gang. I want you to go in this game and score a goal, Hunter. I'm not going to be too mad. I know how hard it can be. The Columbia Central trying to get off another shot. Kyle Groudon just like he pushed it out of the way like it was nothing. I'm just kidding. Columbia Central shot was just so far off. Kyle Graham wasn't worried about it. <laughs> Kyle Graham yelling at the team, trying to get, trying to get them to wake up a little bit. Carlo with the touch to Lil Ferg. 13 is there to cut it off on Colum for Columbia Central. Keaton's ready to throw it in. Now Lil Ferg throwing it in, trying to get it to Carlo, just couldn't connect. Sending a through ball behind number two. Can we score? And we cannot score. So Fairview's been doing, honestly, Fairview's been doing pretty good. We've had a good amount of opportunities to score. It's just their goalie, man, he's a, he's a hoss. He ain't letting anything in that goal. Or I mean, one of our players just, just needs to kick the ball as hard as they can. And then it's going to push the goalie into the goal. And we're going to score. Send another through straight to Brett. Let's see if he can redeem himself. And the goalie is there to save it again. 
I'll, if only he had chipped the goalie right there. Would have been the most hype play I've seen all day. Joe Daughtry about to go in. Played with him a couple years ago. Kyle Groudon with the save. It was very close, almost bobbled out of his hands and made it into the goal. So we have Esau Perez about to go in for Columbia Central and Joe Daughtry about to go in for Fairview. Both fresh on their feet, about to, about to mess the soccer game up. Both repping Nike cleats. Eight minutes, 55 seconds left on the clock. Still hoping fair if you can get that, get maybe a few goals, maybe one goal. I'll be happy if they get one goal. Yes, sir. During halftime, we should walk over there and see if we can bring our headsets maybe into the back of that Jeep. It looks pretty nice. I believe that is Alex Dowdy's parents. Columbia Central almost getting really lucky again off another corner kick. Brett taking it all the way. Number 13 putting Brett on the ground. Bailey Watson about to take the kick. He's been placing all the other free kicks he's taken lately very nicely. Let's see if he can place this one as nicely as the others. Dipped down straight in front of Brett Ferguson's feet. Can't, what can he do with the ball? So many opportunities to Fairview. I'm just hoping one of these opportunities, the ball just goes in the back of the net. That's all that's got to happen. I'm thinking about a little bit of soccer right now, a little bit of food, and a little bit about the temperature. Starting to feel it in my fingertips. One of our camera women almost actually getting hit. Ellen Grant almost getting hit by the ball. Nice dodge she had. Brett about to take it all the way. Juking him out. Fortunately, he's getting double teamed, and then they just got the ball away from him. Fairview passing the ball back, trying to keep possession. Beautiful pass by Keaton Mullins. Lil Fur getting the turn, and he's outnumbered by Columbia Central's d -d -d defense. See? I mean, if you gotta use your head to head, but someone just don't let the ref see. That's all you gotta do. Trying to make it around Fairview's defense and he goes out of bounds. So playing soccer with glasses, I don't know how that go. I feel like whenever I'm running, they'd fall right off. Yeah, or you could just wear goggles. Goggles are the best. Patrick Gilchrist lined up to go back into the game. Yeah, that jersey's looking a little bit dirty. He's been doing good though, receiving a few amount of pretty decent through balls, have to admit. It's pretty unfortunate I can't be out there. I was excited to play this year, but then I broke my collarbone. See, like, we've been talking about subs and, like, substitutes and how everybody's subbing in, subbing out. It's making me think about Subway. Keeping it inbounds, Carlo Quintanilla. 
Oh, Brett Ferguson taking it to the goal. And he cannot get the shot off. And Patrick Gilchrist is going to make his way onto the field right now, taking out Lil Ferg ASAP. All right, Patrick Gilchrist getting in there real quick. Already, already had, already getting touches on the ball. He's trying to make plays happen, son. Crossing it into the middle, maybe. But it's kicked out. Oh. <laughs> Columbia Central's not going to have any of that. that. There's only three minutes, 50 seconds left on the clock. Columbia Central doesn't want to take any risks. They're just going to be kicking it out. Out of bounds. Let Fairview get the throw-ins back in. I'm going to agree with you on that one now. My toes are, you know... I can't really feel them anymore, but it's going to be all right. I'm hoping. I need my toes. Getting stumbled up on his own feet. So let's see here. Fairview's had some, I mean, a lot of good opportunities. Their defense, has, their defense hasn't been doing too bad. I mean, I feel like Columbia Central's goal is really just not pure luck, but it was, it was pretty lucky for them to score off the corner. Yeah, that's, you, took my, you took the words right out of my mouth. Keaton putting on pressure, playing very aggressive, doesn't want any more goals to be going into his own. Throwing it into Bailey Watson as he kicks it up the field to Brett Ferguson. And Columbia Central is going to regain possession. Trying to get it to 31. Keaton needs to watch out. That was a pretty high kick. He may be called for that in the future. Bailey Watson putting in work, getting the ball out as Fairview regains possession. Sending a through ball to Patrick Gilchrist. At least I think that's who he's trying to get it to, but I don't think Patrick saw it coming. The ref's going to call that a free kick for Columbia Central. So this could potentially be another opportunity for Columbia Central to score right here. Boy, that guy can kick. Patrick Gilchrist hustling as Columbia Central repeatedly kicking the ball out of bounds, not letting anything get near that goal. They don't want anything to get into their goal. Honestly, sir, I am not too sure if the scoreboard has a buzzer. It looks like it's going to be a goal kick for Columbia Central. 20 seconds left on the clock. Still possibly an opportunity to score. I mean, you know, if this goalkeeper just kicked it straight over Kyle Groudon's head right now, he's pretty pushed far up. For sure. For sure. Be 2-0. And that's going to be it for the first half. It's Fairview High School broadcasting team. And... Bingo!
Alrighty, we're back again with uh, Columbia Central versus Fairview High School soccer team. With our wonderful crew, Christian, Andrew, Ellen, Dylan, and myself, Owen. Fairview passing the ball very nicely. Brett just can't get the ball off his feet quick enough to Blake to make that through pass. I can't watch. I can't feel my toes when I'm soccer. with you. So the temperature is dropping rapidly as the sun went okay. down. No. <laughs> but we're back and better than ever. Ready to commentate this second half of the soccer game. 39 minutes left on the clock. So if you guys haven't noticed, uh, Columbia Central and Fairview High School have swapped sides. As that happens in every soccer game, they swap sides at the half. Did you know that? Fun fact. Sending long through balls to number 10. Passing it back to number 8. Columbia Central playing smart, just trying to keep possession. Number eight using his head to pass it to Fairview High School. As Columbia Central regains possession. Kyle Groudon running out to snag that ball straight up off the ground. Coach Smith for Fairview giving wise words yeah. of wisdom to Alex Dowdy, can, like, senior, work up his way for Fairview High School. And a, um, teaching job, but he, he hates Metro. He, he's a Spanish teacher. I agree it is pretty hard to commentate in this horrendous weather, but... Oh, it just... Okay, well, it was balanced. Now drop, Max. Take the ball. Sending a through ball to Patrick Gilchrist. Columbia Central's goalie, number one, figuring out what he wants to do with the ball. He wants to put it on the ground as he kicks it to the middle, and they lose possession. Maybe not the smartest plays of all, but whenever you're up one to nothing, you can afford those, those mistakes. As long as it doesn't, the mistake isn't letting the other team score, and then you'll be tired, which, you, yeah, you, yeah, you can't make those mistakes. So I'm not too sure if this is Kyle's first year go playing goalie, but whenever I was playing for the high school, I remember Kyle would always play, I'm pretty sure, on defense. So I guess he just went further back down the line and became goalie. Kyle Groudon contemplating whether or not he wants to kick the ball. Hey. Max Cole hustling to make sure Columbia State isn't going to get past Fairview's defense. Kicking that ball to Kyle Groudon. It's getting really cold out here. I remember whenever I played soccer and it'd be a cold game, I feel like it would always be harder to breathe. 
like whenever you whenever you get winded, it'd be so much harder to recover. It'd be, it's just it made the game more miserable. That's what I don't like personally. The girls soccer team gets to have the most perfect weather and then the boys soccer team yes sir I feel like whoever whoever came up with the dates of soccer seasons needs to turn those around or just put both of them at the same time honestly I thought it would be a little bit Yeah, be perfect. <laughs> he loves me. Brett Ferguson dribbling forward with the ball, makes too far of a touch forward, and Columbia Central's there to intercept it. However, Fairview did regain possession. You know. Hunter Bergerstein going in for Brett Favre. Honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be coming out right now, even if I was winded. I feel like if I sat down, I'd get cold. I would not want to be going back in. I'm actually pretty interested in rewatching this commentary and seeing how many times we're going to mention how cold it is, but we just can't put enough emphasis on it. Brett Ferguson trying to stay warm, getting back out there on the field. About to dribble up all the way down the field and make a goal here. Waiting to be substituted in. Kyle Grad running out and chucking that ball downfield. Keaton Mullins makes a poor touch and it goes out of bounds. Keaton Mullins getting the ball up the field for Fairview. We're going to be losing possession on that one. Columbia Central's got a throw in. Blake Langford with the aggressive steal, sending a through ball to Patrick Rilkes, and he just can't quite make it to the ball. Feels like 23. Kobe, number nine for Columbia Central, using his head. Bailey Watson playing it smart, keeping possession of the soccer ball. I like it. Little Favre. I actually almost got those mixed up too earlier. I was thinking about it in my head because I was thinking like Brett Favre. I did. Indeed so. Maybe I did. I mean, I was thinking it in my head. I don't remember saying it. But, I mean, this game just couldn't get more exciting. Because Fairview's about to come back. I know it's going to happen. For sure. Well placed through ball. And look who it is. Patrick Gilchrist is taking a tumble, hitting the ground again for the fifth time tonight. It's been all over that field. 
every square centimeter of it. Max Cole outrunning Columbia Central. There's nothing they can do about it. Fast little ninja. And is he, he's going to kick it out of bounds once more. And our sub, Brett Ferguson, is finally making it back onto the field and taking out Hunter Begerstein. It's Brett, number 11, right in the Playing very aggressive, regaining possession. Seems like Fairview's coach, Coach Smith, is getting pretty angry at the defense. They're dropping too far back. They need to get mad. They need to get angry. That's a lot of time left on the clock. Plenty of time for Fairview to score. <laughs> I'm hoping he doesn't take another tumble. But if it happens, it happens. It a long throw in. He didn't even have a run up on it. They're trying to weaken their defense just by kicking the ball straight at him. I mean, I think that's completely legal. Kyle Groudon in the backfield, out by the goal, yelling at his team, trying to keep them together. Hey Blake, how long has the ball been over there? The whole half, I'll answer. Hey. Brandon Long going in for Max Cole. Max Cole hustle, still making a hustle off the field. Looks like each and every player looks a little bit more tired than they were whenever they first stepped on the field tonight. I think the cold's finally starting to hit some of these players. Yep. Number six going in for Kyle for Columbia Central. So I couldn't help but notice that multiple people have these really highlighted green cleats on Columbia Central's team. I'm trying to figure out if that's just a new fashion trend or if maybe, maybe they just they just like the cleats, maybe. I don't know. Lil Ferg putting, putting the spin moves on him, juking him out. <laughs> Columbia Central making a poor touch. B. Lank making a poor touch as Columbia Central regains possession. And number six, the cold kid, is going to bring the ball in. Can he score? No, he cannot, as he takes a t-t-tumble. This is Fairview's time to shine. Let's make a counterattack on this. Brett Ferguson messing up his sh-sh-shot. Brett Ferguson is really good at dribbling the ball up all the way, but man. No. Number 24, I know, I saw about you. to go hard. 
The ball is coming straight towards us. It's about to get live. Kobe kicks the ball forward up to 17. Let's see what he can do with it. He's gonna pass to the middle as he passes back as a beautiful through ball and he gets a shot off. Kyle Rodden's there for the save. Looks like Fairview's uh, second secondary goalie is about to go in. He may be getting a little bit cold. Alex D with the penalty. It looks like the guy from Columbia Central's over there. It seems pretty hurt. He's been on the on the on the ground for a while now. He gets up and he seems as if he's limping. He may be hurt. Columbia Central's coach is walking out on the field. I think he's going in for the hurt one. <laughs> Mike. Mike. One sub. Brandon. Brandon. Ten, seventeen, high five, and his number seventeen's walking back. Shows great teamwork. Good job, seventeen. Jacob Baker back at the sub box about to go in for Kyle Groudon as he saves the free kick. I think someone stepped in the box. Seems as if they're going to give Columbia Central another go. I didn't know that this was like basketball and they got two shots, but seems like that's what's going on here tonight. Let's see if he can go two for two. No, he can't. He saved one, but he could not save both. One for two, Kyle Grab. Fairview's gonna be starting off with the ball back in the middle. They're down two to nothing now, I believe. The scoreboard does not show that, but I'm pretty sure that's the score off them scoring that last goal. I think one plus one equals two, right, Dylan? Let's go, one. Brett Ferguson making a beautiful pass to Blake Langford as Blake Langford makes a well-placed pass to Patrick Gilchrist, but Columbia Central's goalie is there to take it. I feel like he's always there. Every time. He's been on point tonight. I almost said it and then I was like. Let's get it! Follow up, follow up, let's go! Jeffrey Perez getting a little bit aggressive there in the middle, sending a through Paul to Patrick Gilchrist, but it's too hard once again as it goes over out of the park, son. There's a homer. I'm starting to shiver here a little bit. I really, I don't know what happened to my toes. I'm not too sure if they're there or not right now. Mine don't feel at all. This could be a 1v1 situation if they could break through Fairview's defense, but they cannot. Kobe tripping once again. Blake Langford getting a little bit juked out there by 23 on Columbia Central. Seems 
seems like Columbia Central's keeping the ball on our side of the half, or on our side of the field this half for the most part. Jacob Baker's there to save the ball for Fairview, our secondary keeper. He misses his touch, but he regains possession as he attempts to send the through ball. Columbia Central making very nice passes, trying to keep possession, playing smart. Kobe almost falling again. Number six taking a shot and Jacob Baker's there to save it. Even though if he wasn't, I don't think that shot was going in the goal. All right, so I think next time I record commentary in the cold, I'm probably gonna bring a couple heaters, maybe around a dozen blankets and couple more heaters. Eighteen minutes and forty-five seconds left on the clock. Fairview coach Shane Smith is getting it. A little irritated. Sounds like he's having a talk with some of the players, trying to get him motivated to get on the field, maybe score a couple goals. Maybe score a couple penalties. We're about to put in our MVPs of the night. Hey, with it, let's go. Play the ball though. All right, Brett Ferguson with the ball for Fairview, getting tripped up over himself, and he gives away Fairview's possession. Kyle Groudon wants Fairview to keep them Jets going. I'm not too sure what he's talking about, but I'm pretty sure he, he's just talking about talking about speed and Fairview's players. He wants them to not get tired. Guys, look to your left! Jackson, that's you, that's you. All the way down, all the way down, Don't. A well-placed pass by it's Lil Ferg. Jeffrey Perez tries to pass it back and we lose possession. Lil Ferg's there to save it. And the goalie snags it up right off the ground. Well, maybe it just wasn't meant to be. Very hard to see what's going on. There's so many subs going on. <laughs> let's go, Patrick. Let's go. We're not talking about the sandwiches either. <laughs> All righty. The wall of subs is now leaving. Max Cole's coming out for Fairview. Blake Langford's coming. Uh, no, not Blake Langford. Alex Dowdy's coming out for Fairview. Keaton's coming out for Fairview. Bailey's coming out for Fairview. So some of our, our potential like main starters right now are coming out. It may do them good or it may do them bad. We're about to find out. I mean, I feel like the players going in now are going to be a whole lot less tired. But once they once they. Not as warm, but no. Well, once they start running, they're going to warm up a little bit. Get their juices flowing. A beautiful through ball. And a beautiful slide tackle. Kicked out by Fairview. It's going to be a throw in for Columbia Central. Let's see if they can get a goal off this throw in. Hopefully not. Well, 
what is this is it going to be a corner kick I believe so so this is how they scored their first goal there goes your drink that you have just dropped and they could not seem to score off that corner yeah I'm gonna have to say their first corner that they scored off of was just right place at the right time I feel like that's how a lot of corners happen though very easy way to score a goal if that happens, if you're just at the right place at the right time. Very miserable as I'm sitting on this cold steel bench. Let's go, let's go! But we're commentating for Fairview High School, showing our great school spirit. Making, making not so, not so good passes, poorly placed passes and losing possession. And we've just, we've, we've made too many poorly placed passes and lost way too many possessions for us to win this game in my eyes. Jacob Baker repping USA with his nice goalie jersey. Fairview's goalkeeper at the moment. Columbia Central's goalkeeper at the moment is about to perform a goal kick. Probably about to kick it a good 40 yards. Mm, about 40 yards, maybe. Getting a little bit tripped up in the legs of Columbia Central's players. Looks like Fairview's gonna get a free kick. Maybe try and catch him off guard. Maybe score a goal. Let's do this. Is it gonna happen? No, it is not. It looks as if our producer, Bob King, is making an appearance. Coming back to the game, I see. A poorly, a poorly uh, placed touch by number six, Columbia Central, and a poorly Jackson, man, head. Back, man, back. Is that not okay. number nine? Uh, taking a tumble. I feel like number nine and Patrick Gilchrist are. A lot have a lot in common. As in by taking tumbles. Carlo, second rebound. Second rebound, be close enough to be Alex there. Dowdy not agreeing with stopping the game for a little small cramp. I do not agree as well. I believe they can take him out on a stretcher maybe. Maybe he needs to go to the hospital. This is a oh, low lux button. It's for really Push up dark. And give Blake a second it's a design and flaw open space. because it's too easy to bump that. Pinch in now. That's Not too much going on here, but Columbia, Columbia Central's uh, substitute that's about to go in is tying his shoes. Okay, good. It's a. Yes. Um, he said. It's and I should get back after the ball is kicked. A lot of people across the county. Alex Dowdy going in for Brett Ferguson. Let's see if he can make a goal out of it. Do you want me to get a shot of the kid? The kid with the cramp obviously didn't stretch enough. Big mistake, big no no in my book. Hunter, your pass outlet. So if he passes yes, sir. to you, it's pass it back to Blake because he's a runner. Maybe he just needs to man up, get off the field, and let someone take his position while he's cramping. Get this game, get the show on the road. 
I'm listening to the baseball game going on over there right now. It sounds like it's getting pretty pretty wild. What do you think? Number six finally making it up, getting off the field. That's what I'm talking about. And Fairview is going to lose possession. Yeah, and they quickly regain it. And they quickly lose it again. Lil Favre, or see, yep, I made it. All right, I, I made the mistake. I called him Favre. Lil Ferg pushing over Kobe. Hunter Bagerstein juking him out like it's nothing. Number 19, don't know what just happened. He still thinks the ball's over there. He's lost like last year's Easter egg. Needle in a haystack. I think that Fairview's student section was, was ha, has the right idea by bringing all them blankets. I wish I was thinking about that before I came out here. Number eight for Columbia State, kicking his legs up behind him like a chicken. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be some kind of stretch, but I think he's just trying to prevent, he's trying to prevent cramping up like number six. He states that he was trying to stay warm. I'm going to test out this method myself. Just a little bit. Fairview's going to get another throw in. Hopefully, hopefully we can keep possession for a good amount of time. Patrick Gilchrist with a nice little swift, swift pass there. Alex Dowdy showing Columbia Central who's boss. It's right by the ND filter. Eight minutes, 35 seconds left on the clock. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly, it's, it's going by a little slow for me. I don't know if the cold is like slowing it down or what, but it's just not working. Fair of you kicking it out, playing it safe, doing the usual. Columbia Central subbing out two players, putting in them fresh, new, ready to go, energized kids. And it looks like Brett Ferguson's about to be subbed into as well, along with Max Cole. like Alex Dowdy took out that guy. And it looks like Blake Langford's taking him out again. This game's getting pretty wild. I'm liking the way this is looking. It's, it's getting me pumped up. Oh yeah, like you got my blood flowing a little bit quicker. A little, just, just a minuscule amount, but a little bit more. That's what I like to see on the, on the field. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can see a couple more kids get, get ran over. Yep. 
All right, it's pretty hard to see commentating here. We got a big old wall of subs here. I was about at that state a good 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Looks like. Oh, he's getting up. It's old Patrick Gilchrist. He's He's been tumbling all night, son. He's good to go. Little Ferg coming out. Hunter Begerstein coming out. And Alex Doughty coming out. We's about to go score a couple goals, and then we're gonna win the game, and then, and then that'll be a wrap for sure. Very, very hometown honky. You can you can hear the hometown honkers driving by, maybe honking as they drive by the field. Getting hit by that ball would not feel very good right now in that cold. If it was in the warm, it'd be it. Just a whole different story. whole different everything right now. It's just, I never thought of soccer as a snow sport. For sure. About to go run over a couple other players off Columbia Central. Maybe have Blake Langford one up them right after. Max goal with the whiff. Keaton Mullins dribbling up the field, outrunning Kobe. Kobe gets a touch, hits it out. Number 16 going in for Kobe as Alex Doughty's coming in for Brett. Or Jeffrey Perez, I'm sorry, not Brett. Three minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. In your eyes, Dylan, in your eyes, you think Fairview's gonna make the comeback. See, I know it's gonna happen. All right, I'm not gonna say that because whenever it doesn't, I'm gonna sound not very smart, but I think it's very possible. That is plenty of time for Fairview to get the ball Pick it up with their hands. Don't let the ref see, though. And then just jump into the goal with it. As long as the ref don't see. Block the run. March up and block the run. Hey, that's all right. Soccer, soccer can get a little wild every now and then. Looks like Columbia Central's goalie is going to come up to take the uh, kick. We still have one more period after this one. All right, I was just testing you to make sure you knew how many periods were in a soccer game. I don't know if I would be able to last a whole nother period. Like physically, mentally, emotionally right now. They're going to call a handball on Max Cole, I believe. It's Columbia Central's going to get the ball. Free kick. Number 16 looking mighty confused as his coach tells him to leave it for the goalie to kick. And he kicks it downfield. Perfectly placed. Number 19. Oh, but they lose possession. Keaton Mullins and Bailey Watson putting putting the beating on Columbia Central as as whoever just made that beautiful beautiful run, Carlo Quintanilla. Oh my gosh. Carlo Quintanilla made it. I don't know how to say his last name, but Carlo just made an awesome run. I don't know if the camera saw it or not.
Not too much going on here. Columbia Central just trying to keep possession. And they end up handballing it. Looks like the game's gonna be coming up to a wrap here shortly. I don't see in my eyes that Fairview can score two goals in the amount of time we have left, but who knows, maybe we can get one goal in there at the last few seconds of the game, maybe make it one, two, but winning at this point just isn't very realistic in my eyes. Half a minute left. You can do it, Fairview. I believe in you. <laughs> I don't know what the call was right there. I think the Columbia Central player was trying to play while on the ground still. Hey, there's still a whole second left. And that is it. I'm sorry, we did not get to score, but that's going to be a wrap. This is Fairview High School Broadcasting, Bob King producing, Christian on camera, along with Ellen Grant and Dylan Greer and Owen Jackson, myself, commentating. And that's, and that's it. Columbia Central won 2 to nothing at the end of the second quarter.